Mom, come here. Our trip is soon, and I think that we should take this path right here. Hmm, why not take this path? It's faster. I mean, the faster path is not necessarily the best path. But why not? You see, history is full of moments where people tried to take the faster route and it didn't quite work out for them. For example, the Donner Party. The Donner Party left Springfield, Illinois in 1846, headed west to California. They were led by brothers George and Jacob Donner, which is where they received their name. You see, the Donner Party at first took the established path to California. However, from there, they decided to take a new and supposedly faster route laid out by an unethical trail guide named Lansford Hastings. Hastings went ahead of the group to make sure the path was After safe. After traveling for a while, they received a note from Hastings saying that this path is unsafe and he was going to look for another one. After that, they took a new route. However, the new route turned out to be even more dangerous than the route taking before. In this new route, they had to carve a fresh road out of thick trees and boulder stone ground. Taking this new route wasted several days and they ended up snowbound in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Things got so bad that they had to resort to cannibalism and only half of their group made it to California the next year. See, after hearing this tragic story, I can't help but think, what would I do if I was in that situation? You see, I would like to say that I chose the established path. However, if I was in that situation, I don't think I would have. What do you think you would have done in that situation? See, as human beings, we always think that the faster route is necessarily the better one. But this story is definitely proof that that's not necessarily true. Well, after hearing what happened to the Donner Party, I think we should just take your route. I think that's best. 